Hey there everyone, this is Ivory. Welcome back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey 4. Today we are going to do a few quests and get this height elevation thing, and then do a lot of quests actually, because I'm pretty sure we could have done quests and it's going to give us more quests, and eh, it's not going to be a big deal. We got this. Let's go over to the Cargo Wharf and get that guy what he needs. Oh yes, we need to talk to you about lots of things. Okay. Yay, gas is lighter than air. Sweet. That means we can go higher. Okay, so he's going to tell us a story. This is really important. Okay, story time, guys. Very important. People will tell you the old Wharfmaster invented these skyships we use. Okay. But don't you listen to them. A tad over ten years ago, on a stormy night, something big crashed down from the sky. It was a flying machine. It took us over five years to repair it, and we've never done it if not for the discovery of iridescent ore. Remember when Whirlwind suggested we try and use it as fuel? Nope. Nope. There. Who suggested they use it as fuel? It wasn't long between that and us taking the first skyship for a ride. Around right about then, the Alan Count started rounding up explorers. His interest in Yggdrasil is keen enough, but his real dream is to meet the Skyship's builders. I don't know who flew it here, but the thing's really impressive. And it's capable of much more than what we can do. And he's done. It's a really neat story, really. I really like this story. It's really important. And knowing that the story is here, like, you don't see significance in the story until after you've beaten the game for the first time. And then you play the game again, and you see this line of text, and you're like, holy crap, everything seems so real right now. Hopefully you guys have had a revelation similar to that. If not, don't worry, that revelation will come. Alright, let me check to see if we have any skill points. Eh, people holding on to their skill points doesn't really count. Yeah, right now people are just holding on to skill points. Alright, so he's made the adjustments, and we can now go higher, <laughs> which is really important, because now we can access the second altitude, which means there's a lot of exploring to do this episode. Let's go over to the Burnett Lyre and get stuff, uh, stuff sold, and then we can begin exploring. Alright, Therica A's are nice. What does it take? Osmonda Frond? Alright, we'll buy some Therica A's, why not? That is a really expensive Therica A. Ah, whatever. Getting rid of vines is worth it. Randy Thread. Let's see, what about some armor? Hard plate. Let's try to keep our Rune Master from... Oh, okay, so that's only a 5 HP increase for her. 10 and... 10-ish. Not exactly 10, but... Something around there. Uh, I'm gonna say Sakura needs this the most. I mean, we can't get another one, but we'll be able to get more. As for this... This is better than Hobble going barely, but more importantly, better than the Skill Jerkin. That Lynx came really close to killing her last time. I don't want that to happen again. Alright, that's it for shopping. Let's go over into the... Let's go into the Skyship and start exploring the higher elevation, shall we? Oh boy. Starting with the Windy Blands. Alright, we have now unlocked the ability to go higher into the sky, which gives us access to more stuff, and gets us hounded by more FOEs, so there's lots of things we can do. Here's how you control altitude. You can go, you can press your B button up to east to ascend, down to descend, uh, and then you can, uh, well that's it. Basically, it's that simple. Up, down. Right, so, let's start by making our way to the western side. Seeing what we can find. Seems like this wall's still here, it's fine. Some people don't like mapping the walls for uh, the altitude things. I do, it's just personal preference of mine. Now, if you look, you can see some trees up there, and that kind of gives you an idea that you can actually go over this sometime and see possibly go even higher. There's even space over here where it looks like you could put easily put a third elevation. And truth is, yeah, there's going to be one more time we can do elevation. Get away from that guy, he's loud. Um, 
All right, so we got a bunch of twisters here impeding progress, which is annoying. Now, now that we've marked them from up here, if we go down here, they kind of fade out. And that's to tell you that basically that's on a higher level. And it's really nice how they did it. How the opacities changed. Alright, let's see here. We got a land pillar here. There's not really too much we can do. The FOE is on the other side of the world wind, so we can probably feel safe about that. Now, this FOE is really strong. Thankfully, he's not aggressive. He just moves really fast. And that helps. I do have the Dowsing Rods. Okay. Once, it's, once again, that thing is loud. Let's continue... Let's continue perching up on these cliffs, because there's still treasure to get Dowsing-wise. I'm interested to see what we can get. Nothing from here. What's over here? Anything? No. Over here, anything? Yeah. Alright. Dowsing Rods. Check this spot, something shining below, we find the plateau number two treasure, contains stab mist times two. Not that great, but hey, it's something. Alright. Alright, I need to be careful about my positioning here, because Mr. FOE would love to claw my face off. As is true with all FOEs and all Eternalities. Got a small Tetris piece here, it seems. We'll be going over there soon. Alright, lots of things, places we can explore. Let's see, what is this FOE's moving patterns? Alright, we got, we can't access this, whatever this is. Let's continue exploring this western side. Alright, wait, we can touch down on this land if we wanted to. I think we will. Let's touch down on the, uh, vantage points. We'll be exploring these little sub-areas later. Probably as their own episode with their quests associated with it. Maybe two in one episode. Depends. Depends. Okay, so... Not too much over here. I need to be careful how I position myself, because this FOE... Well, he moves fast, and... You know, we don't want to be in his way. That's just rude. Uh oh, that's <laughs> that's not what I wanted to encounter. Some of you already know what this is. That's a giant dragon. Scarlet dragon, your meager guild is no match for its transcendent power. You must take caution and steer save well clear. All right, if that dragon encounters your sky ship, you're doomed. Um. So, you know, stand clear of the giant dragon. But, he does drop things. Which is where he's neat. He's gonna start moving. And if we play our cards right, we can get some of the things he drops. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to... Only glances with you at this interest. You must escape once before the dragon changes its mind. Alright, we need to get to this spot before the dragon leaves the map, otherwise we can't get the item. Also, that's a rare breed kangaroo. But for right now, we're in danger. Here we get the fire crystal. Now, we need to GTFO from this spot before he comes back. Shit. Alright. That's all I can do for that. Uh, if you accidentally get in front of him, just escape within a Radney threat. Just escape. Otherwise, he smashes your ship and things go horribly wrong. Oh. Hello, Guildmaster. Alright. Yeah, it is my backyard. I love following my my curiosity. Thank you, Guildmaster. Here now. Dowsing Rods. Alright. What's this one? Find the Falls Depths. 
treasure. Contains poison gas times three, aka is useless. Alright, well, there's gotta be a few useless things. We can sell this poison gas for money. That's fine. What about over here? Yes, dowsing rods. Contains a plateau one treasure. Contains nectar two times two. Hey! Thank you! Two nectar twos is really good. Nectar two is an awesome item. Provides better than nectar one. We'll definitely hold on to that. Alright, I've got one in the very far corner. I wasn't really keeping track of where all these treasures are. Windy Edge Treasure. Contains Ice Mist times two. Eh, useful later. Oh, I have been keeping track. Kind of. Not to all of them. I don't think I got this one. This one here. It's important. Alright, let's go over to the Scarlet Pillars and see what we can find here. We can probably find a lot more than what we found over in the Windy Plains. Start by looking westward. Seems like that Dino Gator can see us from pretty far away, which is interesting. Nothing here. Oh, there's a Puka? Ooh. Do want... Oh, did it disappear? Where'd it go? Oh, the Puka disappeared. That's sad. I probably should have taken the Mushroom Quest before coming here. Oh yeah, I definitely should have. Alright, you know what? There's a quest that involves taking the Mushrooms from this place. I want to go grab that quest real quick. We'll be right back. Except this Shroom at the Inn quest? Don't worry, we'll do the- we're gonna do these eventually! Just not right this second. We can get through the end quest. This is gonna be Dal. she's gonna want some mushrooms from the Scarlet Pillars, and she wants three of them. The better the quality, the better your reward. And regardless of the quality, more item space. I picked this one out, because it's a quick, easy one to do while we're up here in the skyship, so let's just go back to where we were. It's gonna give us access to Oyster Shroom. Yes, we'll take the oyster shroom. Alright, well, I thought it would be more rare than that, but whatever, we'll take what we can get. Thousand rods have activated on this spot. Is this a plum grove treasure? Gives us a sleep guard. Sleep guards are good. I like sleep guards. Stop your characters from going to sleep, that's pretty handy. We'll definitely keep hold of that. There are some enemies coming up that specifically rely on sleep. Now here's a tricky one. We need some fish. Do we have any fish lying around here? No, not really. Maybe we can get some fish from the Windy Plains, but eh, I don't think actually. I actually don't think these guys are interested in the Windy Plains fish. I'm not sure. I don't know that guy's aggro range. I don't know what it takes to get that guy angry. Probably not much. Seems like as long as we don't get in his little bubble, he doesn't care. So where is his bubble? Here? Yeah, that's his bubble. Okay, so... There's an area just past this guy that it would be really awesome to reach, but we can't reach it because he's kind of in the way. We can get his attention with fish, or we can just bust, make a move for it. If I move forward once, he's just going to come over and swipe me. I need to get him while he's in one of the corners. So I need to find a way to waste a turn. Really. But no easy way to do that. Uh, it's noteworthy. It's almost nighttime. What does it take? Here? No, he's going to get to me. Actually, he can't. Alright, so here's the thing about this guy's movement. He has to move two spaces at a time. He can't, like, correctly align himself with you. So, if I have an Aradney Thread, I can land in that marsh. If I have an Aradney Thread. I need the Aradney Thread to do this. Alright. We're gonna creep forward. I'm sorry. That's not how I thought you worked. That was a mistake. Alright, we're gonna die now.
Eagle lives with 1 HP. Good. Higher chance of escaping with 5 people than with... Oh, 4 is down. Alright, well... Do I just ratty thread out? Is he just too... I guess he's just too fast. We should just ratty thread out. That sucks. Alright, so I guess I can't approach the... Pretty sure you can. Oh well. Let's just quickly get these people patched up. I'm gonna rest till evening for a specific reason. No, we're not gonna save the game. This episode isn't over yet. Poison Blossom. I heard there's a rare flower in the Miasma Forest that changes shape as time passes. Would you like? Uh, would someone like to get it for me? Yeah, we'll go get it. She wants you to find an unusual flower. Blossoms. Uh, blossoms differ, but whether it's day or night, either will do for her. I grew in, uh, in this area not long ago, but no more. I hear the flower is now blooming in the Miasma Forest. The day flower will give you the power book, the night flower, or an intelligence book, up to you. What might bloom at the first thing in the morning? Now, care when you rest at the inn, you wake up at 7. That isn't technically the first hour of morning. I think it's either 5 or 6. Uh... I guess we'll learn more about that later. For now, let's enter the, uh, second land and see if we can't get this puka. These pukas are cool. Uh, I might not be able to reach it. Depends on which direction it goes. Oh, my direction. No. No, not quite. Alright, fine. Let's grab this. Yeah, we'll take these. We'll fill the basket, that's fine. Dino getters. Wait. I did it! Kind of. Oh well. Another bigger book for us. Alright. Free bigger book is always nice. Alright. I know for sure you can get into that marsh. I know for sure you can get into that marsh. Ah! From here. Suddenly, sits an utter alone in the sky. Oh no, come on. Right before I dive into the... Fine. Golden Dragon Glide and Lightning. Seriously, that's just rude. Alright, let's land in this... Marshland. Giant frogs is a rather revolting sight, but a great discovery, you... Hearing... Okay, so, let's enter this cave. And then we're going to leave, because staying here is the worst idea ever. Actually, it's not a bad idea, and I'll explain that later, but for now it's a really bad idea to stay here. We should leave. And we're going to go ahead and turn in that mushroom quest. I know it seems like we're doing a little bit of a being pretty jumpy today, but more storage is the best reward ever. So we may as well, we want, we want to get it. So I was most grateful she has taken notice of you now. You can go to her hall and figure out exactly the storage stuff. Let's go over to see Dala now and discover this new space. No problem. Extra storage space. Very nice. So now instead of only holding 10 things, we can hold 25 things. Hey, that's pretty nice. Oh man, the sleep guard's so good. Alright, we'll hold on to that. Um, probably gonna give that sleep guard to, to Eagle, because she has that free slot. Don't need these mist things just yet. Probably gonna sell the poison gas, because it's bad. Everything else seems to be fine. Let's go drop by the Boron Outlier, sell some stuff. Symbols, equipment, Poison gas can go, this stuff's terrible. Alright. 
Check this spot, we got the center step. Lucky choker. Lucky chokers are good. Especially for a class coming up, but for right now it's not that great. Dowsing rod again, alright. Far cliff treasure. Contains poison charm. Alright then. I'll take it. Poison charm's a poison charm. Alright, here's the second maze, and once again we are stopped. First thing you recall is the ravine to the north of the Windy Plains. Bears a close resemblance to this terrain. This ravine too is choked with thick clouds and suggests a path further to the north. You cannot see anything beyond them. There's a stone monument blocking our path, just like previously. And it just so happens to be a giant forest right next to that. How about that? Alright. Now that dungeon is very important. And I mean, this episode's kind of everywhere, but we're going to, to land in and get to the geomagnetic pole and then get out. This labyrinth, too, has a mysterious monument besides its entrance. You may find clues upon advancing. Discover Mr. Ravine. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna step inside the Mr. Ravine, go to the geomagnetic pole, activate it, and then leave. We're not actually going to do any exploring here today. Well, a little bit of the area... The, a little bit of the entrance, I guess, but not anything in, really intense. This is really a sight. Like, this episode is just like... Oh man, here's a bunch of quests and stuff. Oh man, this is a 3x3 area? You actually put me in a 3x3 area for once? That's nice. I love 3x3 areas. This one is a misty forest whose tall trees grow in clusters. Begin walking through the misty labyrinth, and appreciating its tranquil atmosphere. Oh, wow. That was just some friendly... F ye old friendly flavor text. Alright. Small 3x3 room with the geomagnetic pole in it. I'm gonna say hello, Jim and Eric Pole, nice to meet you, and we're gonna leave. I have no business here. Okay, so now we can access that whenever we want. That is blocked. Dowsing rods right next to here. Wall surface treasure gives us ancient Hindi times one. Oh my god, whoa! Whoa there game. Whoa whoa Nelly. Alright, I'll take your I'll take your fancy bow. It's awesome. I'll take it. Thank you. I will I appreciate your strong weaponry. Alright, got a little cubby hole back over here. Let's see what this is. Cliff ring. Tains Medora times two. Medoras are good. Now, in Neo 1 and Neo 2, Medora's healed the entire party. Actually, no, it was Soma's. Ugh, I'm getting things mixed up again. Alright, what does Medora do in this game? Is it the row heal? Yeah, the, it is the row heal. Alright, good. Haven't gone crazy. Going to launch this over here. Okay, so now with both of them sufficiently distracted, we can come over here and... Lock this area. The Moss Garden is a very interesting place. We're gonna, of course, we need to touch down on it so that we can access it in the future. And then we can just, uh, get out. We'll explore the Moth Garden later. But it's nice to know it's here, but the Dino Gator is, like, right there. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Thankfully, we can set this up again pretty easily. Alright, let's explore the area around the Dino Gator in case there's treasure. Yep, treasure. Knew it. Garden Knoll Treasure contains ancient rapier times one. Okay, we can't really use that, but hey, it's nice. Level 16 is nice. See a beautiful flower with bulge shaped petals. The gradation of color of these petals white to red is as beautiful as the peach colored light of the of the dawn sky. This flower is a rare sight, one, one you were only able to see because you came at the threshold of morning and night. You have no doubt that the client will be satisfied if you return this flower. Pain the twilight glory. All right, blossom.
Welcome back. Yes, we were able to find the flower. Friend, my pattern is quite striking. Boom, just as dawn, you say. So beautiful that it may be difficult to part with when I deliver it. It's a joke. I will, as ever, be fully responsible for my end, but I'm not sure how to reward you now. The reward and the night reward. Well, this flower has elements of each, so both rewards may be appropriate. We obtained both the power book and the intelligence book, and we have updated the miasma. Level 16 for everyone except Laya, because she's behind after being, you know, dying a bunch of times. No big deal. Laya dies all the time. Let's see. Well, regen's fine. Refresh is fine. Attacking guards at higher levels is probably the probably the plan right now. Unless I really want to save up for healing step, I may as well just continue pumping these up. I think we'll go with attack first, then guard. That seems backwards, I should probably put survivability first, but offense is just as good, I think. Let's work on... Yeah, let's work on refresh for a bit. Why not? Find it for me. Now, there's an easy way to do this quest, and there's a long way to do this quest. I'll do the long way, even though the majority of it's going to be cut out, because it's just tra mostly travel time. But, uh, basically, we got to find a plant reference. Some guy in the woods has it, or we can buy it from Boron Outlier. So we go over to Burn at Liar, talk to Winnie, say, hey, lady, we need a plant reference. Came in the other day, it's been out of print and all, so the back will be thousand in. No, the soldier was bragging about how he got one of the books off a of red bear on the B-third floor of the woodlands. Maybe you should ask more about it. Of course, if you don't want to put uh, go through the trouble, you can still buy ours. No, we are going to not spend a thousand in. We are going to go march our way over downstairs and get us a plant reference. Go buy item or any thread so that we can get out of there easily and march our way over there. The floor. Where's that soldier? Search for the plant reference. We find a soldier out of breath. Alright. Got attacked. And only escaped because he could distract it with his pack. He wants the, uh, his life more than the book. If you want the book, you have to fight for the monster. He doesn't care. He's going to let us do it because. Whatever we find is ours. Simple enough. We just gotta go over to the spring, of which I haven't even explored, but it's there. Trust me. Now basically, we just go by to a certain area, and the bear will appear, and we fight the bear. And the bear will have the same awesome music, but it will last like a quarter as long than the first time you fought it, because now you're like level 15, 16, and he's the easiest thing ever. Oh, we're... Oh, well, I guess the normal monsters want a little bit of time with us before we march in there and rot against a bear, but whatever. Got the plant reference. Alright, that's all that mattered. Nothing else here mattered. Oh, I guess, yeah, the Medica 2, Amrita, and Machete are fine. Uh, is this Machete better than what Bio's using now? It is. Quite a bit, actually. I mean, it doesn't have blind on it, but that leg blind could not come in handy. Uh, and it has more attack, so. Roll with it. Alright, clinic. Do that up. Save the game. Alright, so hey there everyone, this has been Nonfic. As always, I thank you for watching. Next time we're going to do actual either moths. Okay, we're gonna do either moths, bulls. Well, okay, the the dense bushland, the moth egg thing area, the marsh, or the misty ravine. One of those things. I'll see you guys then.